Now, obviously, about these Chinese cameras, James Patterson is the senator from Victoria who is all in on this stuff, was the first one blowing the whistle and was the one who deserves the credit today. More than 900, almost 1,000 of these things. Senator, give me an idea. What type of buildings are we talking about here? I know we don't want to specifically list every single office block and everywhere, but if it's something that is a Commonwealth institution, does it have at least one of these things in it? Paul, thank you very much for having me on tonight. And uh, when I was thinking about doing this story, I knew there was one man and one program and one audience I had to come on and discuss it with because I know how much interest you've shown in these issues over a very long period of time. God love you. Um, to answer your question, um, uh, we do know the types of buildings. We know that they are in the Department of Defence, the Attorney General's Department, the Department of Home Affairs, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Not exactly the kind of agencies that well, you would I'm... think should be having uh, Chinese technology anywhere near them, uh, let alone uh, installed all over them in some cases. So I was pretty shocked when I got those results back. I thought there might be some in the Commonwealth, but honestly I thought they'd be at the periphery of the Commonwealth in non-security agencies where it still wouldn't be good to have them there, but it wouldn't be as critical as it is if it's in the heart of our uh, national security policy community as it turns out to be. Now, surprise, surprise, current government, bit of a, yeah, we're going to pull them all out because we understand what the problem is, but there's not a lot to see here. Give me an idea. At the extreme end of things, mm -hmm. is it a capability of the information to be sent back or is it built into some of the technology that it goes back? Well, a couple of years ago, flaws in Hikvision's uh, technology were identified that allowed a remote user to capture the control of a device and to access anything that device had access to. So in the case of uh, cameras, access to their uh, video feed. In the case of some uh, models, also their audio feed and any other data that it collects. Now, um, if a third party can do that, just imagine what the owner and operator who coded the software can do with products like this. And then think about them being beholden to an authoritarian foreign government who is trying to economically coerce Australia, who is responsible for unprecedented levels of espionage and foreign interference in our democracy. And you start to have a pretty uh, scary picture. And that's why it's so essential that these are ripped out of every Commonwealth department and agency and as soon as possible. But I think people sitting at home are not going to quite, be not going to quite understand, right? that the people who are working in the buildings in part to combat the influence of China didn't notice what was being put on the outside and the inside of their buildings. And I get it, government's difficult, doesn't always talk to each arm. But over the years, multiple governments, all the rest of it, right? But how did we only know this now? I mean, China's been a problem for a little while. I don't quite understand it truthfully either, Paul. I wonder about the procurement officer or committee in the department who sat down and compared the options available and said, yep, we're going to go with these ones that are linked to the Chinese Communist Party that we know are involved in the repression of Uyghurs in Xinjiang. Um, it, it really does uh, blow my mind. Perhaps they were cheaper than the alternatives, but boy, oh boy, did the upfront discount come with a real sting in the tail. Um, and it really is extraordinary that it happened. Why are we only finding out now? Because uh, I decided to ask in September last year the Department of Home Affairs, I said, do you have these cameras? And do you know if any other Commonwealth government agencies have these cameras? They said, yes, we have some. And no, we don't know if there are any in the rest of the Commonwealth. And so I decided I had to launch my own audit. I had to approach every government uh, department and agency through the question on notice system in the Senate. And six months later, we have those results. Well, good on you, James. Honestly, I, we are... So thankful that you're there asking these questions because uh, as soon as that first ray of sunlight hits, you get a result and you get a pretty quick one here, which is they're all going to get ripped out. You are absolutely part of our National Defence Network when you actually care about this stuff and talk about it and, most importantly, follow it up. Uh, you're a big part of the Senate and thanks very much for coming on the show, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, Paul. There he is. James Patterson, Liberal uh, from Victoria, but more importantly, an Australian who cares about our own security.